Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. We are going to be going through an angelic message for the week beginning September 18th, 2023. Before we get into that, I'm just going to set up the setup here. General reading in the beginning, breathe in, tune into your heart space, choose a group. You can go to the timestamps and uh, get your extra message there. Now, I do want to sit here and talk a little bit about new offerings. Yay! <laughs> so if you haven't uh, checked it out yet, I am teaching angel mediumship. I was going to do that in one session, but I wanted to expand it out, go more in depth. So that can be a series. You can purchase each session separately if you want. So there's that. And then I'm also doing how to connect with your angels one-on-one -on -one training. So those are one hour sessions. I sit with you. I read your energy field, see what any potential blocks are. If you intend to come into a session like that saying you have no blocks and you're good, um, that's not true for anybody, <laughs> number one. And two, this isn't for you. Okay. This isn't so that I sit there and tell you how great you are. This is really doing hard work. So if you're not ready for that, please be aware of that. Okay. And I'm still doing live readings for the moment. For all of these offerings, you have to email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. The reason why they're not on my website is because they're not permanent offerings. If you want a standard reading, then you go to my website, angelsouls444.com. 1010 portal readings. If you want them by the 1010 portal, you have to get them in now. Okay. A lot of people rush in at the last second. And they can't believe they don't have their reading. <laughs> you know what I mean. All right. So there is that. Let's get into this here. We can also address, um, you know, September 23rd, 2023. A lot of people have, that's a 5-5 five, five day. Uh, people have a lot of things to say about that. Five is the number of change. And yes, you might be seeing things that you don't like, things that you need to be aware of, things that you need to change. But that's okay. All right. <laughs> You're going to be all right. Okay. Let's see what the message is here. I'm also doing a, a whole other series if you want to check it out. Uh, Angel Answers. I didn't know what else to call it. So that's what we're going with. Angels are answering your questions. So if you have questions you would like to post the angels, not in a personal way, right? Like this is not a time to be self centered. I'm sorry to sit here on these videos and say it, but it, I say it because it's happened. Right? Like people are like, oh, this is my chance at a personal reading. No, angelsouls444.com if you want a personal reading. This would be a, a question that maybe the whole collective or the whole audience would be interested in having a video on. Okay? So, there's a card popping out right here. The Dreamer. So, this is a time. <laughs> it, okay, so this is a good thing. So, this is like a fresh slate. But this comes after a moment of realization. Right. So what am I doing to contribute to a situation that I don't like? Or what am I doing where I feel like this all the time? Right. Is this a space of allowing? Am I allowing people to get at me who are intentionally trying to get a reaction out of me? Um, am I allowing people to make me feel unlovable? Uh, you know, just things like that make me feel like I'm not worth anything. So the dreamer is kind of, yes, it's good. It's a, it's a fresh start, but it's also a very grounding kind of time. This is saying, Hey, come on in here. Right. And don't go into a space of avoidance. So there could be some things happening this week that make people want to do that. Okay. So we have Archangel Metatron, a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities, but the dreamer, and you can certainly take that if that resonates for you, but it feels like when I pulled it out, the dreamer was very much like, wonderful that you have ideas, but get ready. Get ready to bring them into the 3D reality, the 3D realm, okay? King of Air. Okay, so get your plan on, right? So something's coming about here where you're finally, there's like this realization, an aha moment. You know, we talk about that all the time. And then there's understanding how you need to reset. This week is really about accountability, as well. Okay. So if you're always someone who says it's everybody else's fault that I'm angry, you are probably scapegoating somebody. 
uh, or martyring yourself in some way. So watch out for all of that. That is definitely coming up in the channel part, well, mediumship part of it, I should say, of this reading. And then there's this wanting to take your dreams and bring them in. So King of Air, brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional consideration. So the dream that you've been thinking of, okay, or if you're like, I haven't had a good dream, like something I've been passionate about in a long time, give this, give this some time this week to sit and contemplate this, to sit in meditation over this, because I think there could be something that once inspired you, it's still there, but it's never gotten to be brought into fruition, okay? So you're getting a plan. Yeah, 10 of water, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional material needs are met, trustworthy relationships. You know, you're figuring out the accountability. They're saying it's the accountability. If you're sitting back and going, no one will give me a chance. That's why I am not doing X, Y, and Z. Or, you know, I tried this. It didn't work out. Something's breaking through, but it has nothing to do with someone coming in and saving you. It's you going, oh, I was supposed to be doing that the whole time. Oh, well, I can do that, <laughs> right? And it gets you going. And it's very, um, it just really opens up your energy field. It opens up and brings you up into a higher consciousness as well. Joy can do that. Now, if you take joy in other people's misery, not the same thing. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. Eight of water, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So essentially something is kickstarting this week. We just had Mercury <laughs> go direct. So maybe some of, some of you have been sitting there, you know, like, like kind of revving your engine ready for something to change so that you can get going forward. It looks like that's going to be happening. Now, as with any message, you have to do your part. If you go, oh, the cards are great. So we're just going to go with that story. <laughs> And that's the end of it. No, no, you have to do your part. All right, let's get a color card and then we'll go on to the groups here. By the way, do you see this tan line thing here? If you would like to see this in, in progress as it was happening, go back to when I filmed outside. You'll see it because the thumbnails are not great. But <laughs> outside on Highway 67, literally, if you watch, I think it's like the weekly and then I did the September overview and then I did dailies or something. You can watch me getting redder and redder. And the reason why this is crooked is because I had my mic clipped on my shirt. Go back and watch it. It's hilarious. It's not that funny, but you know, whatever. If you're bored. Uh, white, lighten up. <laughs> the number is 24, reduces to six. So there's a lot of messaging here about, okay, it's time to take this beautiful divine energy, this inspiring, uplifting something that's going on for you and figure out a way to bring it into reality without doing, without stressing yourself out, essentially, without losing any of the divine light as you bring it through. We do that all the time uh, because like think about, I don't know, you want to create something, you want to create that business, you got your business model all set up, you know how you want to do it, and then you weren't ready to have to do all the paperwork for permits or the specific kind of taxes that you have to make sure you're in charge of and making sure it's getting to your accountant. This is kind of what this is talking about. It's like, okay, just handle those little details that might not be so fun, but they're doable, right? And this can get you going in the right direction. So we'll leave it there for now. Remember, if you do want to do one of those courses with me, they're live, they're on Zoom, they are tailored to you and your needs. So the angel mediumship course, I am vetting people who come through there, okay? Because I'm not teaching it to somebody who's going to misuse it. But with the angel mediumship course, uh, it's like I said, it's in a four-part series. I did that so that it could be used professionally. But if you're not going to use it for, for professional reasons, that's fine. We'll just get you into the training so that you can get more and more comfortable with how you use it. Okay, so there's all that. Email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com for those courses and let's get on to this.
Hey there, group one. Let's see what's going on for you. If you did not go back and watch the first part, make sure you do that. That is the other part of the message. I am now teaching one-on-one -on -one angelic mediumship sessions along with how to connect with your angels, live readings. There's your card. <laughs> go back and check all that out in the first part for information. I got to get your card here. Okay, so we have three of air. Great sadness, take time to heal, the need to forgive yourself or others. What this is telling me is that you've gone through quite a bit and you might be in that type of survival mode where it's just like, I can't take one more thing. Maybe even getting into a space where you don't trust anything or anyone anymore. That's what's starting the energy of this week. Let's keep going here though. See what else you have coming up. Okay, Knight of Air. I immediately got the feeling that this is almost like, um, again, please remember, this is not the exact interpretation of this card usually, but I'm an angelic medium and I'm going to incorporate that, right? So, so a Knight of Air for you guys feels like you're kind of overthinking this or taking a not so nice approach to it. Again, it's not terrible. It's not like bad, but there's something that you're jumping to conclusions about and it's going to get you stuck. Okay. So intelligent, decisive, idealistic, tireless events that occur with great speed. Okay. Something could have come up quite quickly. Take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. So it's like in order to get past whatever might have come as a surprise, what might have been some form of heartbreak. This is like, I'm just going to come in and do what I got to do, right? Charging in. Then we have Queen of Fire, confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. You know what? <laughs> this is something that might have ended that needed to end, okay? Or, you know, you realize you're kind of charging and just trying to make things happen so that you can be rid of it. And you realize this week there's a better approach. And that better approach is tuning in to your higher wisdom, your higher power. You know, the queen is above the night. So, you know, stepping into that, being very confident in yourself and saying, okay, wait, I'm not going to go fight someone who wants to fight me or if there was an injustice I'm not going to just go flying in because that's what they expect me to do no I'm going to tap into who I really am and handle it from that space the high priestess oh yes you're getting into your wisdom you're like okay I see you baiting me I see you want me to react to you scapegoats out there this is a message for you, especially if you've ever had very toxic people around you who are just always antagonizing, manipulating, just trying to get a rise out of you. And then you stop giving it to them and they double down because they're used. They know you're capable of giving a response. This is one of those times where you might be, you know, stopping giving them any sort of reaction and they might try it. But energetically, they're going to learn real quick, stand down, okay? And it's not you doing anything. It's not you wishing revenge on them or anything of the sort. It's just they feel the power. <laughs> they feel the power coming off of you. No, but they feel like, okay, this isn't to be messed with. All right. So number two, balancing. We have Archangel Haniel. Listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. I'm telling you, something that you thought was the answer probably as you start this week already went away or it's something you're having to deal with. It could have been a shocking kind of uh, thing, but to get yourself through, you're tapping into your intuition and not from a feared place, not from the night of air. I'm just going to go charging in kind of place. Um, this is, yeah, they're saying evaluating, like you're stopping, you're evaluating, you're redirecting your energy and making it therefore more productive. Okay, then we have Emerald, Calm Your Mind, Body, and Soul. The number is 30. No one's gonna break my heart. No one's gonna take my heart energy. No one is gonna tear me down because allowing people to do that to you and then wanting to change their behavior, I've gotten stuck in that rut 
many times. I care for this person. I love this person. Why are they so cruel? I would love to be close to this person, but they're always manipulative. They're always trying it. They're very diminishing. Maybe there's somebody who en engages in a lot of like passive aggressive power struggles. You get none of me. Okay. Like that's this, <laughs> that's what this is talking about. So we will leave it there for you guys and get on to group two. Hi there, group two. So let's see what else is going on for you. If you did not watch the first part of the video, make sure you do that and uh, pay attention to new offerings that I have going on. I am now doing one-on-one -on -one training, teaching sessions on angelic mediumship. Now I am vetting who gets to come on in and do that because I'm not teaching somebody who's going to misuse it. But if you're a good candidate, which if you have a good heart, then you're a good candidate, but it can be tailored to your needs. Okay. But you need to give me space to give the angelic feedback. Um, these have been going exceptionally well. I have had a little bit of pushback, like there's nothing I need to work on. I'm perfect, but that's not the case. Okay. So other than that, just be ready. Okay. There's also, you know, how to connect with your angels one-on-one -on -one session. All right. Where I read your energy, see what might be blocking you, if anything, or just helping you understand angelic messages a little bit better. And of course I'm still doing live readings. All right. Here's your goodies. Let's see. Okay. King of water. That's pretty good. Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured, Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Charity work. This feels like someone coming along and helping you. Now, this feels like an older male. So this, because and I say that because uh, I see like a gray beard, a very trimmed up gray beard. And this is somebody who genuinely, they have a lot of power and they have a lot of strength, but they genuinely want to see people succeed. So I'll lay that down there for your consideration. Now that could be you embodying this as well. Ten of water, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. Well, excuse me. Now this adds another layer of meaning as we go through this. Uh, for some of you, this might be a deepening of a connection with someone and resolving some issues, some outstanding issues. Uh, if you're single and you're wanting to meet someone, I don't see why not. This looks pretty good to me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> be discerning always don't just go into something because like I'm tired of being alone and blah 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 um, but this could also be like an opportunity that really really makes you feel um, I've got a hair somewhere in my face and I don't know what it's attached to where it's going why it's there so sorry about that <laughs> but this could be something that really makes you feel like okay I feel settled now I feel at peace I feel like things are going in a going in a good direction because you're manifesting it. The magician, number one. Now, when we talk about the number one, um, people like to do magical thinking around this. You can do whatever you want, but don't come crying to me when it doesn't work very well. Yeah, because magical thinking, more often than not, the way it is sort of embodied by a lot of people is um, it can be escapism, not in every case, but it can be escapism. Um, it can be denial. It can be absolute... I don't know what the word is, but like being disconnected from reality. Okay. So just be careful with that. Let's not take this good energy and misuse it. So this is Archangel Raziel. You are ready. You have the resources. I can't talk today. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. So some of you might be on cloud nine this week. There could have been an offer that came through or just some news, you know, cause the 10 of water does say, you know, it's about a nice, happy family life. Um, so it could be some information coming through where everyone's going to be all right. If some of you, cause I feel like some of you might've been holding your breath over something. Maybe this was over someone's health. Maybe this was, why well, don't we don't know how that's going to come through. Maybe there was, um, conflict in the family. feels like something gets understood here. And now we've got this, now we've got this into a very good place, right? There, there's something that's getting smoothed out. And therefore, clears up the energy so that you can start manifesting the things that you really want. Yeah, to a fire, you've come into your own. New partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. So something about your path is clearing up this week. Now, we are coming out of Mercury retrograde. 
Okay, so maybe <laughs> maybe you've been feeling like you've been spinning your wheels or you've been having, you know, I think we had Venus retrograde as well and that came out of that. So maybe this is now things around uh, getting along nicely with others. It could be a love partner, um, issues around the family. Things are starting to move in a more positive direction. Okay, unless you're one of those people who just is in denial and you think, you know... <laughs> There was no problem to begin with. Like, uh, okay. All right. We have Scarlet Attract Success, the number seven. The Archangels are behind you. This is your breakthrough. This is your breakthrough. I'm getting chills. This is your breakthrough. You hear me? <sighs> yes, baby. Take that in. Okay. Don't say, no, it's not me. It can possibly be me. It's you. Okay. <laughs> and if you want a standard reading with me, you can go to my website, angelsouls444.com. We'll go right into it, into your specific situation and see how it can come about what you need to be doing with that, so on and so forth. So this is your time. You're in that good space. All of this is about bringing in the stuff you've been wanting after you have carefully considered what you want, all right? Making sure that that is in alignment with your soul's path. It's in the highest good of everyone involved. Then you attract it in. This is not the kind of energy of I'm going to step all over other people, okay? It is so not that. So we will leave it there for you guys. <laughs> Shall I say congratulations? I think that's pretty great. So we'll leave it there for you. I am sending you so much love and take care. Hello, group three. Let's see what else is going on for you. If you did not watch the first part of this message, you missed half your message. So go back and watch that. And of course, you can choose other groups if you want. And I did announce that I am now teaching angel mediumship in group two. If you came from group two and now you're here. That hair on, on my face is still there and I can't find it. I feel it, but I can't find it. But we're going to be okay. <laughs> I hope we'll be okay. It's going to drive me nuts. Anyway, I am now teaching angel mediumship, but I am doing that for a select few people, okay? Like if you have a good heart and you're going to be ethical about it, great. Come on in. We can tailor that course to your intentions, whether it's for your use or you're going to be doing it professionally we can uh, do some training around that. I can also offer, and I am offering, um, a one-hour session, which is different than the angel mediumship one. These kind of all run together because it's all angelic work, so I get it. But <laughs> this other, uh, how to connect with your angels, is a one-on-one -on -one training session where I read your energy. We see what's going on there. I give you the feedback, and then I actually work with you to help you go through that experience of having an angelic connection. And so again, it is very tailored to you and your specific needs. If you're going to come into that saying, I have no blocks, I'm great, I'm perfect, this isn't the session for you. Come back when you're ready to work, okay? Live reading sessions are still available. For all of that, you have to email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. The standard readings are at angelsouls4... Wait, what did I just say? Email me for the other ones, angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Did I say that right? I'm not sure I did. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I don't know. I'll know when I go back and edit. Standard readings, angelsouls444.com. Great. Okay, now let's get your cards. <laughs> let's get on with that. I am watching my little baby niece. Got the monitor right here. She's doing great. Okay. <laughs> She's fine. All right. For you guys, seven of earth. All right. Seeds well planted. You've done well. Okay. A temporary pause in action. That was the retrograde energy. Unnecessary wor worry. This to me says, don't get yourself in that space of, oh, I failed or feeling down because you're not seeing things come to fruition the way you expected. You're doing well. It just, it needs to simmer. Okay. It needs to cook a little bit. <laughs> so <laughs> don't get impatient. The Empress, yes, you're about to give birth to a whole new situation. This is creative life force. Um, this is manifestation, but through harmony, beauty, grace, making miracles happen. You know what I mean? Like she's the Empress. She's good stuff. What can I say? Number three, all of this coming from a higher wisdom standpoint. So this is not manifesting. I mean, it could be wealth, but it's not that. It's not the shallow pursuits. It's not shallow pursuits so that I have some sense of control in this narcissistic world. No, nah, no. Nah. 
as a matter of fact, three, the number three, when you're tapping into like ascended master energy, that helps you realize that that is nonsense and it's just designed to keep you off your spiritual path. Not to say that you can't be spiritual and have wealth. Okay. I myself drive an Audi. There's a whole story behind it. I got it for the price of a Jetta. It was serendipitous. I went in when they had to turn in their, <laughs> their year in, uh, sales numbers. It was bonus time, whatever. Like it got in under the wire, but yeah, I got it for the price of a Jetta. Negotiation 101. Don't care so much. Because I was going to get a Subaru. Okay, whatever the cheapest Subaru was. I was going to do that. Okay. So I'm saying, sorry. <laughs> what I'm just saying is that it's not bad to have, you know, financial stability and to like even have big wealth so long as you're ethical with it. But the Empress is not going to help you just try to reach that just for power. Does that make sense? Because people watch this who do that. And I know that because they keep coming back for readings and asking about such things. So that's not going to help. All right. Lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. Understand the significance of this energy so that you can tap into it. Something's about to bloom and blossom here. The lovers. Okay. There's a lot here about, in a few of these groups, about romantic partnership. And this has been coming up a lot in personal readings too. That's interesting. <laughs> That's interesting. It doesn't, I mean, it does say the lovers, but it just means like uh, two people, good, I mean, good connection there. Similar uh, flow of energy, like uh, there's the word. So, comment, comment down on it. What is it? Not synchronicity. Is it synchronicity? It's not synchronicity. That's what I'm thinking of. My mind went blank. It doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> lovers, Archangel Raphael, intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. Uh, dang it. That word's like right there. Is it symbiosis? I don't know. Anyway, working well together. Okay. Oh, okay. Got a mess going on. I'm dropping cards the whole bit. So working in sync with someone, if it's a romantic thing and you're open to a romantic thing, you're single, you're ready for that, um, that's fine. But it doesn't have to be that. I just feel like there's a partnership, like someone's coming through and helping. Now, having said that, this could definitely be talking to some of you. You've been waiting for a love partner so that you could start a family. That's definitely the Empress's pregnancy. So if you're not wanting to get pregnant, be careful. Um, and I always kind of take the lovers as like, we're so in love. Let's not do any thinking. Um, do some thinking. Do some thinking. Okay, let me get that card that fell down. Okay, well, goodness me. This is nine of air. Expecting the worst. Self-fulfilling prophecies. Sleepless nights. We're going to pick another one. Because here's all this really good stuff. This could be like self-sabotaging. You're worrying for nothing. But let's get you another one. Justice, the number's eight. That has to do with abundance, more money stuff, okay? Archangel Raguel, that's how we play with others. How Do we play nice with others? Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. Okay. okay um, it's not going to be everybody. It's not gonna be, this could be, it made me think divorce. Like someone's finalizing a divorce or you're making some step towards that because you want a fresh start over here. I ain't getting my hands in, in all that mess, but um, there's something that you're like, you're wanting to move on, but there's something you're worried about here. Um, let's get your color card. Indigo, improve your vision. The number's 40. The angels are supporting you in seeing things more clearly. So here are all these beautiful potentials here, but it also feels like you're having to come through another situation. If you take your old mindset and bring it into the new situation, you're going to get more of the same. Okay, so there's a learning curve here and I'm actually hearing don't get too cocky about this. Don't get too cocky. So again, some of you are worried about the outcome of some sort of potentially legal situation. If it's not legal, it's a work situation. It's something that has a lot of rules, regulations around. You might be worried about that outcome. But then you have this other energy here. And you know what? Whatever's going on, this is pretty powerful. As long as you're doing things ethically. If you're out there doing things to hurt other people, 
it's going to come back on you. Okay. There's, you say whatever you want. You tell yourself whatever story you want. I make the rules. Energy is energy. Okay. <laughs> you shoot it out. It comes back. So just keep that in mind. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.